Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Geeky Sparkles is sitting the next couple of videos out. She's got something she's doing today, so you're stuck with me. We're going to talk about Star Wars movies getting shelved. Apparently, it's been confirmed that the next couple of announced Star Wars movies are not happening. That would be Rogue Squadron by Patty Jenkins, uh, whatever that movie was by Kevin Feige, and whatever that movie was by Taika Waititi, they're not happening. Not a shocker, but we didn't have any official confirmation, so this seems like they're really going to take a step back and take a good hard look at Star Wars and and feel really bad. Maybe, maybe stand uh, Kathleen Kennedy in the corner. No, that's probably not going to happen. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy will get gone eventually. They will send her off with a ticker tape parade and they'll probably make her like a Disney legend or something. You, you watch. You'll be like, yes, let's celebrate her uh, destruction of the brand because they're not going to admit that they were wrong. They're not going to admit that they should have gotten rid of her years ago, that they need to course correct years ago. I mean, hell, even Wired fairly recently is calling out, uh, you know, what a disaster Star Wars has been under Disney, that it's it's just exhausting and underwhelming. And uh, there's too much of it and not enough of it is good. I mean, there are a few things here and there that have been okay, but none of it's been phenomenal since Disney took over. And it just it just feels like they're going through the motions. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 297 almost 300,000 we're trying to get 300,000 so if you could hit the subscribe button ring the bell for notification uh, go to clownfishtv.com no thanks wired i don't want to sign up for your email list go to clownfishtv.com where there is a lot of content out there that we do not have on youtube including articles like this by jake james uh, lugo who does video game reviews for us and stuff he put this up last night um Star Wars Rogue Squadron and Kevin Feige movies get shelved by Lucasfilm. Apparently, this dropped on Variety yesterday. And uh, here we go. So, in an article published by, by Variety, it gives details on Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie being shelved. Also stating that Rogue Squadron was shelved. Lucasfilm announced that Patty Jenkins would direct uh, Rogue Squadron back in December of 2020 with a special video to commemorate the announcement. Yeah. Patty went into great detail about how much being a part of the film meant to her because her late father was a fighter pilot. That was one of the few I was actually kind of sort of looking forward to, but I was also like, this is the woman that brought us Wonder Woman 84. Like the original Wonder Woman was great, but Zack Snyder was kind of looking over her shoulder. I don't know how this is going to be. They made a big announcement about it and all these Star Wars movies tend to fall apart, don't they? There are always creative differences, creative differences. Uh, and usually, usually at the root of it is Kathleen Kennedy and having a falling out with one of the directors. Variety has sources close to the film's development, saying that Rogue Squadron was no longer in active development at the studio. This comes after Disney removed the movie from its December 2023 schedule, causing May to question the status of Rogue Squadron going forward. Uh, Lucasfilm did not respond to their request for comment. In the same report, Variety revealed... They also learned through their sources that Kevin Feige's movie is no longer in active development. Kevin Feige needs to pay more attention to the MCU, which is also going down the same path as Disney Star Wars. Too much mediocre crap. The film was not titled since news broke out about Kevin Feige's involvement back in September of 2019. Variety was told by Michael Waldron, screenwriter for Doctor Strange 2. Back in May 2020, he was working on a Star Wars screenplay for Kevin Feige's film. Months later, Waldron was also hired to write the screenplay for Avengers Secret Wars over at Marvel, leading May to speculate that the MCU would take away the attention of Kevin Feige from Star Wars. Basically, I think Disney probably decided that, hey, Kevin, yeah, you don't have time for Star Wars. You can't even handle Marvel. The Variety article goes on to detail other Star Wars projects uh, from Lucasfilm, including the untitled Star Wars movie being made by Taika Waititi that nobody wanted. While no specific details about the film are currently known, Variety has reason to believe that Taika would play a part in the film he's making, similar to some of his previous film releases like Jojo Rabbit. Star Wars will need to be very patient for any details about this movie. No clear release window or time frame was ever given for it. Uh, another project mentioned by Variety is possible. It's filmed by director uh, Charmin Obeid Chinoy. No confirmation has been made by Lucasfilm. 
but that's one that's going to have Damon Lindelof, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. It's all kind of crumbling, right? It's all kind of crumbling down. Um, you know, they're like, none of these movies may happen. According to Variety, whether one of those films or some as yet unannounced project lands at the front of the line has been a fiercely guarded secret Lucasfilm, but sources say the studio will begin to unveil its plans for the future of Star Wars at Celebration in London on April 7th. That announcement, however, will compete with expected updates for at least you know four Disney Plus series and or uh, the Leslie Headland show, The Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, the Ahsoka spinoff, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I think, you know, it's very true that Star Wars future is basically on Disney Plus. Star Wars has become Star Trek, hasn't it? Because back in the day, it used to be that Star Wars was this big, massive cultural phenomenon. It was, you know, every time a Star Wars movie came out, even a mediocre Star Wars movie, it was an event. It was it was a theatrical release that made a lot of money. And now Star Wars, there's like umpteen Star Wars shows on Disney Plus, kind of like they did with Star Trek uh, back in the 90s, where we had like what, like three Star Trek shows going on at any point in time. Uh, maybe there were two at any point in time, but there, there was a lot of it, right? And uh, to be fair, though, the 90s Star Trek was actually pretty damn good. Most of it was pretty damn good. That is not the case with Disney's Star Wars on Disney+. Plus. Uh, a lot of it's mediocre. I mean, eventually, you know, you come across some good good uh, nuggets of it. The Mandalorian, the first season, I thought was very good. Parts of the second season were good. Um, you know, Book of Boba Fett was a complete waste, except for the episodes with the Mandalorian and Luke Skywalker. Other than that, it was a complete waste. Obi-Wan was a complete waste. And, uh, you know, it, it dropped the ball with canon, in my opinion. And it just none of it matters. It just, here's the thing. Disney Star Wars is product. It is product. That That is the fundamental difference between Disney Star Wars and George Lucas Star Wars, in my opinion, that George Lucas had a story to tell. He had a reason for telling his story, and it wasn't just to make more money because the guy had plenty of money from the first couple of movies. When he did the prequels, he didn't need more money. He did the prequels because he wanted to tell the story of Anakin Skywalker. Now, we can argue whether or not the prequels were handled properly, but the overall story was pretty good. Now, I'm waiting for Disney to get rid of The Phantom Menace and be like, yeah, it's got slavery in it. We can't we can't do that current year. That's a little blonde, blonde white kid, so whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Like he had a story to tell and he told his story to the best of his ability and the public loved it. Now Disney's just churning out product. And it's a lot of product that people don't want. We did a video yesterday or Geeky did a video talking about the Galactic Star Cruiser. It's failing. Uh, I think Galaxy's Edge personally is a complete bust. Other than the Falcon, you know, Rise of the Resistance is okay. It's not I mean, it's not the best ride ever. We had a lot of people trying to tell us it was the best theme park ride ever. I'm like, are you smoking meth? <laughs> it's okay, but it's broken down most of the time. How would you even know if it's a good ride? Because 95% of the time, you're never going to get the full experience anyway. But uh, it's just, it's a damaged brand. And I think rather than admit that they damaged Star Wars they'll just quietly cancel projects and try to course correct and hope that the public doesn't call them out. And I think what's happened is a lot of YouTubers like myself and a few others have moved on. Like we don't care. I don't care about star Wars at all. I mean, I, I care about keeping tabs on Disney and seeing what they're doing. But to me, there is a definite difference between George Lucas Star Wars and Disney Star Wars. It's not the same thing. To me, Disney Star Wars is apocrypha. Uh, you know, some of it's good, some of it's not good, <laughs> some of it's just outright terrible. But it's not, to me, it's not G Canon or whatever they used to call it back in the day. It's not G Canon Star Wars. It's kind of like Disney's Doug, you know, the cartoon show. They had like Nickelodeon Doug, which was actually really good. Then they had Disney's Doug which was a sanitized version of Doug. I just pretend Disney's Doug doesn't exist. It's it's so much easier that way. And it's just, I feel the same way about Disney Star Wars. To me, Star Wars ended when, like canonical Star Wars ended, when George Lucas sold the company to Disney and they got rid of the expanded universe 
And there's there's definitely a difference between what came before and what we have now. And what came before, we had stories. We had stories that needed to be told. What we have now is product, corporate product. And they're, from as a corporation, taking a step back and looking at the Star Wars factory and being like, you know what? Uh, maybe churning out more of this, this garbage isn't going to make us more money. Maybe it's going to damage the brand. Maybe we really don't know what we're doing. Maybe we need to just bide our time until we can somehow get rid of Kathleen Kennedy and make it look like an accident uh, and make it look like, you know, this is her decision or whatever, and then bring somebody else in who can actually revitalize uh, this, this franchise because everybody's calling it out. You can't hide it anymore. It's not just a vocal minority of YouTubers. A lot of people are like, hey, what's up with Star Wars? The toys aren't selling. The shows are underperforming. You know, every series, series over series, they tend to underperform, except for The Mandalorian, which is doing good because, you know, Grogu's cute or whatever. But Obi-Wan was kind of a misfire. Book of Boba Fett was a laughing stock. People just don't care. And um, they don't care. And it, that's that's a horrible place to be for Disney. They need people to care. They pay billions of dollars for this franchise, and they're betting heavy on uh, you know, Marvel and Star Wars going forward. But they got to figure out what they're doing. Disney has to learn how to tell good stories again. And uh, unfortunately, it might be that the stories they tell are their own stories and not just continuing somebody else's story. Because I think the Star Wars story has been told personally. It's over. It's done with. George Lucas ended it, and uh, everything else that Disney's done is not canon, in my opinion. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.